Hey folks, Michael McGee here. I believe it was two weeks ago, I made a video about this cornfield moaning the fact, or bemoaning the fact, that the white trucker's favorite was tasseling well ahead of the Guatemalan yellow corn. I was right about that, but it caught up. I cannot believe it. I come out just a few days later and saw the tassels just shooting out of that Guatemalan corn. So I am very happy to inform you, I believe we're gonna get the cross. These things, when the tassels come out and they start shedding that pollen, you've got maybe six or eight days of pollen shed. And if I'm not missing my guess right now, we've got pollen shed going on through the entire field right now. So each one of those heads has two to five million pollen spores in it. And when they blow out, they just go out like this. Only like 3% of their pollen gets onto the silks of their own cob. And that's why you can't raise like one little old row of corn usually doesn't do good. You need a field of corn because the pollen spreads out as it falls. It's very, very lightweight. Each ear has 750 to 1,000 silks. And each one of those silks needs to have a spore of pollen laid on it. One of my subscribers that's very faithful to the channel, GW, sent me a really nice article and it said that pollen falls the heaviest from like 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Then it starts getting hot and dry in the day and it stops shedding. Well, later on in the afternoon, when the temperature gets more conducive and the moisture level is right, it'll shed again. It's very interesting. And on the third day is when the peak shed takes place. And if it's raining, it closes up, it don't shed. So that makes it really nice because the pollen that fell on the silks would be washed off, but that doesn't happen because the pollen isn't shedding. Very interesting stuff. I appreciate you letting me see that. I believe we're gonna have a pretty good cross because we planted two rows of white corn, two rows of yellow. So every row is beside their counterpart. I feel like I've gained a year because it was gonna to have to be next year when I summed up the total of days in this corn and I was gonna to have to do a staggered planting. Now I don't have to do that. I've gained a year. That happened to me one year. My wife had me convinced I was, I think I was uh, 42 years old. And on my next birthday, I calculated it and I was only 41. I gained a year that year. Pretty nice. I've done it again. Pretty tickled about that. Be watching this fall when we pick this corn. It's gonna be interesting what we get. And also next year when we plant it back, we're gonna have the F1 or whatever you call it. I'll just go ahead and answer the question that you, that, 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 that I, I already know you thought this. How tall is your corn, Micah? Well, I got my tape measure out and my ladder because I couldn't reach it. And yep, it's 12 feet tall. We're excited, I don't know about you, but that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.